resurrecting toaster oven part do. It's like this was uh, what I was using to control the current, but it seemed a little, uh, a little uh, dangerous. So what I've done is I've resurrected the temperature control right here and the and the on off button and I've added a an indicator light power indicator light and also a top uh, heating element enable button here um, this is from uh, Amazon for nine bucks and this was like two for ten so we're gonna plug this into the GFI protected circuit here and we're gonna turn it on here it goes here goes nothing Ah, oh, there it is. So this was on, but you can just keep it on or off. But what I'm going to do is use this to heat up the top heating element, just so that I can get the temperature up to 220 degrees, which is the proper temperature for smoking. And this is always on, unless the uh, unless the thermostat cuts it off. So that is my uh, my smoker part do and uh, from the clearance between the heating element and in this rack is about two inches which is enough to clearance to put uh, a smoke chip box and I bought three of them that I can put here in there three boxes in place and now we need to prepare the meat. Here, I've put uh, four cups of hickory wood chips into three boxes. Uh, that should last me about five hours. Okay, so for the test smoking, I got a piece of beef, chicken, and pork. I tried two kinds of uh, rub. This guy right here, famous Dave's rib rub. That's for... Uh, and these guys and this guy. And I said chicken, pork, pork, pork. And this guy, and this guy and this guy has no rub on it. Just to, just want to test what how it comes out without it. And the beef has the famous day steak burger seasoning. Famous day steak burger seasoning. Fake famous day steak burger seasoning. And I think this one is too. Sorry. So this one, this one, this one, pork. This one, this one, this one, steak rub. See how it turns out. I'm gonna leave this overnight and then start the smoker tomorrow morning. It is now morning. Now I'm going to prep the oven slash smoker. What I'm do is uh, put some beer in the tray to humidify the, the oven when it smokes. Now, ready to preheat. Right here. We're going to let this go for about five hours once, once we do this. Start to cook. This is, there you go. Um, here we go. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so here it is. Everything that I prepared last night, plus bonus meat there. Uh, it's a piece of salmon. Rib, chicken, no, chicken, pork, and fish, or salmon without any uh, any rub. That's uh, chicken, pork, pork, chicken. All right. So here we go. Okay, 20 minutes in. All that steam from the beer that I put in the pan, the pan, and this uh, from the meat. So the warming circuit has been turned off and it's now cooking at 220. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see what's going on there. Pieces of camera. 
down to four. Let's see, uh... Okay. So that is a product of five hours. This thicker cuts of meat did really well, then not so well. Um, yeah, this, this has turned out well. Um, the fish I already ate, uh, pork, and this is chicken. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So you can see um, this is a thigh. Look at that. It's still juicy inside. Mm, look at that. Okay. And uh, I cooked it for, or smoked it for five hours, and it looks like I don't need to cook as long um, for these smaller pieces, uh, as you can see. Uh, the fish was really good, There's a really nice bark on this. Um, and this here, and uh, so that's good news, which means I can cook smaller pieces of meat for less period of time. Uh, less time and uh, get actually probably better results than what I got today. So I think uh, this shows that uh, smoking is possible. Smoking is uh, is an art, and uh, I have clearly I have uh, some things to learn about smoking meats, um, and uh, I'm gonna try this again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.